Despite what their name suggests, fact checkers aren't objective. Just like anyone else, they have biases and agendas. You should approach a fact checking website with the same level of skepticism that you'd have for any other journalist, because that's what they are. They're journalists with an official sounding title. The thing is, major news media companies actually present fact checkers as a source of official, nonpartisan information. Fact checkers play a big role at sites like Facebook and Twitter to help police content and suppress supposed misinformation. Here's a test. Does this deserve a fact check? His, shall we say, weight group had what is morbidly obese, they say. PolitiFact thought so. They rated it false. Fair enough. Maybe you disagree. Whatever. Point is, they fact checked it. Here's another one. My father is German, right? Was German. And uh, born in a, a very wonderful place in Germany. This one got a fact check too. Pants on fire. Fine. We're learning that PolitiFact thinks it's worth fact checking silly assertions if they're made by powerful people. Last one. What do you think they rated this one? This is Jim Crow on steroids, what they're doing in, in Georgia and 40 other states. You can probably guess where I'm going with this. They didn't rate it. Why not? They fact-checked other claims Biden made in the same press conference. This is one of the biggest ways that fact-checkers can skew reality. Selection bias. The Media Research Center went through all of PolitiFact's entries about Biden from the first 100 days of his administration. Fact-checkers had evaluated 106 claims about Biden, but only 13 statements by Biden himself. In other words, assertions about Biden, mostly criticisms, got eight times as much scrutiny as claims Biden made himself. That's selection bias. How hard are fact checkers hitting the president's press secretary? President Trump's longest serving press secretary was Sarah Huckabee Sanders. She had a page on PolitiFact before she'd even held her own press briefing. By comparison, the PolitiFact page for Jen Psaki, Biden's press secretary, doesn't exist. As of May 15th, 2021, she still doesn't have one. This is a fun one. In April of 2021, the MRC's senior vice president got an email from this guy. Tom Kircher, PolitiFact contributor. Turns out Tom was doing a fact check article on one of our Facebook posts, and he wanted to know where we got our data from. Long story short, our guy sent Tom the data, linked directly to our sources, and even threw in an Excel spreadsheet showing how we got our numbers. So since we'd proved our case, we'd earned a true rating from PolitiFact, right? Well, no. It's been over a month now, and Tom still hasn't published that piece. He hasn't stopped writing. Look at the fact checks he's done since then. It's pretty obvious he was only ever interested in slapping a false rating on a Facebook post that was critical of Biden. Once we'd backed up our data and it became clear that he couldn't do that with our image, he'd lost interest. Sites like PolitiFact and Snopes like to use official verdicts, or ratings, on their fact checks. They're simple and to the point, but they also open up another crack for bias to seep in. Let's look at some examples of this. From Snopes, did Governor Cuomo say it was bad news that Pfizer's vaccine progress came under Trump? The bad news is uh, that it's about two months before Joe Biden takes over. And that means this administration is going to be implementing a vaccine plan. You just saw it. He did say it was bad news that it came out under Trump, right? Not according to Snopes. Mostly false. But why? Cuomo did not say that Pfizer's announcement of positive testing data for their COVID-19 vaccine was itself bad news. Notice how they change what they're actually fact checking here. Here's another from Snopes. Did Biden forget Defense Secretary Austin's name? And I want to thank the, the, the uh, former general. I keep calling him general, but my, my, uh, the guy who runs that outfit over there. Uh, I want to make sure we thank the secretary. So, yes, he failed to recall the defense secretary's name and instead referred to him as that guy who runs things over there. Snopes rating? Mixture. Quote, it's unclear whether Biden literally forgot his defense secretary's name at that moment or whether, for example, he got stuck doing an extended folksy ad lib after initially tripping over his words. Come on, man. Come on. Enough picking on Snopes. Let's pop back over to PolitiFact. In a March 2021 op-ed, Republican Senator Roger Marshall said, a study suggests that even after two years of hormone therapy, biological boys still maintain significant advantages over girls including being 12% faster on a 1.5 mile run. Their rating, mostly false. Well, I guess it depends on what the study said, right? After two years of taking hormones, the average transgender woman ran 1.5 miles 12% faster than the average cisgender woman. So in other words, literally what the senator said then. How on earth does this get rated mostly false? Their excuse? 
The same's not true of push-ups and sit-ups. Okay, except Senator Marshall never said anything about push-ups or sit-ups. This is kind of like the Cuomo example. Fact-checkers have a habit of putting words in the subject's mouth and checking those instead. Another one from PolitiFact. Mike Pence claims H.R. 1 would force states to adopt universal mail-in ballots. As you can see, they rated this false. Kind of weird, since the fact-checker admits in their article that H.R. 1 requires states to give everyone access to voting by mail if they want to use it. In other words, universal mail-in ballots. So why the false rating? H.R. 1 would not force every state to conduct elections entirely by mail. Is there anyone who thinks that that's what universal mail-in ballots means? Universal is not a synonym for mandatory. This is not to say that every fact check is biased, or that fact checkers shouldn't be believed in any case. But the next time you see a supposed fact check, do your own research. Don't let a small group of glorified journalists decide the truth for you.